As Nigeria marks its 64th Independence Day today, the nation reflects on significant achievements in sports. ADBN sports editor Samuel Adelike examines these milestones and considers ways to enhance Nigeria's performance in sport. The report. Yes, Nigerian athletes have made remarkable contributions on national, continental, and global stages. One of the first to announce Nigeria's presence in the sporting world was Richard Dick Tiger Yeitu, who became the country's first boxing champion, winning the middleweight title in 1962 and the light heavyweight title in 1966. Another historic moment occurred when Oji Mayegu became Nigeria's first Olympic medalist at the 1964 Summer Games in Tokyo, winning bronze in the men's light middleweight category. In football, Nigeria has claimed the Africa Cup of Nations three times, starting with its inaugural victory in 1980 when the Green Eagles triumphed over Algeria 3-0. The Super Eagles have qualified for the FIFA World Cup six times and achieved a top five ranking in 1994, the highest ever for an African team. The Golden Eaglets remain the most successful team in Under-17 international football, winning five FIFA Under-17 World Cups and finishing as runners-up three times. Additionally, Nigeria have made history as the first African nation to win Olympic gold in football at the 1996 Olympics, completing a remarkable comeback against Brazil in the semi-finals, capped by a sudden dead goal from Juan Kwakano. It's also important to highlight Choma Ajunwa, who remains the country's only individual gold medalist at the Olympics to date. In recent achievements, Toby Amusomi history in 2022 by becoming the first Nigerian to secure the African, Commonwealth and World Championship titles in the women's 100 meters or those within the same year. The D Tigress have also made significant strides, becoming the first African team to reach the quarterfinals in Olympic basketball. Despite these successes, sports journalists believe there is potential for even greater accomplishments and suggested ways to move forward. Uh, we need to build facilities, we need to train professionals who can help us train these athletes uh, to get to the top. When I say facilities, you know, um, football pitches, courts, you know, that can help players go professional. And then the professionals that can also meet up with a standard needed across the world. And again, sports should be commercialized. You know, you build field, um, whether natural or artificial, these facilities can make you money. This um, sector, sports sector uh, facilities, to be precise, is one of the uh, booming sectors uh, currently across the world, and uh, Nigerians need to key into this. I think we need to do more. Surely we can improve the sports in Nigeria very soon. First of all, we need to start from school sports, uh, take sports down to school, catch them here from the primary, secondary, um, the university level. Don't forget, we need to have the share of cups and all this competition where we annex young talents. So I think it's something we need to improve on. Uh, seriously. And secondly, we need to also get infrastructures. Um, building infrastructures, the reason why basketball is one of the biggest sports in America is simple is because they, in every street there is a basketball, whether it's a full court or a half court. So we need to improve on infrastructures, the wrestling, boxing, swimming. I think every state should have a pro proper stadium that has all the facilities. It is hoped that the sporting sector will continue to uplift the spirits of Nigerians, given the wealth of talent within the country. Samuel Adelike, ADBN Television News.